Hello everybody, welcome back to Design Mechanic. Hope all are doing good. Today we are going to make this beautiful part model in SOLIDWORKS 2016. If you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and click on the bell icon next to it. By doing this, you will get notified when I upload a new video. With further no ado, let's get into the video. Let's begin by changing the units from custom to MMGS. Select top lane, click on sketch. Now select polygon from sketch. Keep the point, center point and drag outward. And uh, select smart dimension. Keep this as 100. Okay, now let us constrain this as vertical. So now you can see it's uh, fully defined. When it becomes black, it's fully defined and uh, when it's blue, it's not at all defined. Okay, now go to features, extrude boss base. Give this as 20. Okay, click on OK. Select the top face and click on sketch. Now let us draw central line. Check on the infinite length. And let us draw two central line vertically and horizontally. Okay, now. I select a circle from sketch. Draw a circle over here and give the value as 40. Okay, now select line and draw a line over. Okay, sorry. Select line, draw a line horizontally and mirror that line about this central line okay now select this three point arc first point second point and third point and make this arc tangent to this face okay and give the value as 24 okay now now choose um, circular sketch pattern from sketch and uh, the rotatory over here uh, delete this arc and select this three line arc and two lines and make it as three okay now trim out all unwanted lines. No, 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 what was that? Trim all unwanted lines. Mm. Okay, now click on OK. Features, extrude, and give it as 30. Okay. Now select front plane, sketch, select line, and draw a line as I'm drawing, and close it, and give this angle as twenty five. and from this center to this point it's 20 okay let us draw a center line over here 
as we are going to revolve cut ok features revolve cut ok select axis of rotation as this uh, central line and uh, selector contour will be this one ok ok now select this uh, select this face ok draw a central line select circle make the center point over the origin draw a circle make it construction give this as 76 ok make it coincident to this circle ok draw a line and draw a circle make this value as 12 ok now select circular pattern select this um, construction circle and delete this arc select this circle and uh, keep the value as 6 click on ok ok now make this center point of circle coincident with the construction circle ok now make this two coincident ok now you can see it's fully constrained go to features extrude cut and make it as up to nest ok now select this face sketch draw a circle from the center point of the circle make it constant to this line ok make it tangent relation and draw a line fully closing the circle ok now it's fully constrained and now features extrude cut the circle these two outer parts ok and make this is 10 ok now go to pattern circular pattern select the rotatory as this line and uh, features is extrude cut make it as 3 equals spacing ok click on this face select circle draw a small circle make it as 20 features extra cut up to nest ok let us give it an appearance ok fine 